<laughs> I love doing stuff like this. <laughs> uh, hey, Steel, here's your ass. Now let me hand it to you with a 50cc saw. <laughs> the lower end of the saw as well. You know, I mean, that's not even a 550 Mark II. <laughs> It's not even a 545 Mark II. That's the original 545 Red Max edition. Okay, it's... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put anything you want in the comments about... about oh, well, that must have a really sharp chain on it. It's only got an 18-inch bar. <laughs> Pouty little steel fanboys everywhere are crying <laughs> it's not fair the steel had a 25 inch bar on it put a small bar on that and it'll be a different story <laughs> that five that that red max has not been ported all it has is a muffler mod and it has a a, a cutout on the top cover for higher airflow but honestly it didn't make almost i mean it made almost no difference whatsoever <laughs> it does have a 325 chain on it oh five hundred dollars for that little red max and that was expensive for me i mean i that was a that was a what do you call it, the um, impulse buy? For sure. It definitely was an impulse buy. Probably shouldn't have bought it. But I did. <laughs> Probably only puts out about four and a half horsepower. But RPMs cannot be argued with. All right? So, yeah. I just wanted to, I just wanted to drop this little bomb for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love that steel 400. Um, it is a great saw. <laughs> but any chance I get to show up a steel chainsaw, I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's big wood, too. I mean, that's big wood. It's, that 400C is nice. It is very nice. Okay. But is it all that? No. That might be the nicest steel chainsaw to have ever existed. It really might be. It, it, it's nice. It's absolutely nice. But it got its ass handed to it by a little 50cc husky. So... I don't know why so many people out there... No, yeah, I do know why. It's just complete, blatant ignorance. Uh, what I was going to say is I don't know why so many people think that steel just can't be beat. Um, it's just absolute ignorance. Uh, no other reason. Uh, they just don't know any better. Um uh, now, I'm not saying that Husky's better. I ain't saying that. I'm saying this happened right here. That's it. You know, that's all I'm saying. That steel, I would much rather have that with me uh, if I was going down and I was knocking down a tree and bucking up the whole thing. Uh, you know, the that little Red Max is small. It's a small little saw. Um, of course, you know, And the steel isn't broken in. Okay, we gotta be really fair here. I get it, you know. But the steel has a brand new uh, chain on it. That chain is not dull at all. Uh, now, could it be faster? Sure, you know. If somebody, um, it's yet to be seen if I can make one a chain faster than stock than out of the box. But um, I did sharpen that chain on that red Ma red max, and it is nice and sharp. It's cutting really well, but all excuses aside, 
I think stuff like what we just saw is absolutely shocking. Shocking. Because I know what that 400 feels like. That thing's a good, powerful, strong, nice running saw. I really like it. Um, but shit, man, that was a $1,000 saw. And it just got its ass handed to it. <laughs> In big wood. That, that's big. It ain't huge, but that's big. That 18-inch bar didn't have a hope of getting across it. You know, that's, that's sizable wood. And where the steel was cutting, you could see, you know, the wood it had some busted up, you know, rotted out pieces. Where the Red Max was cutting, it was all solid. So, yeah, eh, take it for what it's worth. Understand if you're watching this channel, I like steels, but I do like giving them shit. I really like that. I really like... Uh, I really like pointing out that they're just another chainsaw. That's it. They're just another chainsaw. Some of their models are better than others. Some of those models are better than other manufacturers' models. Uh, you know, but as far as which one's better, nah. It's what you like. If you like the trigger set up on a steel versus a husky, you like it. If you like a... Um, uh, if you like a creamsicle colors, white and orange, you like it. If you like complete orange, you like it. I happen to prefer red and um, uh, and green. I like my Yonsa reds. I like my Polands. Um, I like the I like the yellow Polands as well. You know, uh, I mean, I like I, I like Huskies too. I like them all. Really, if it's a good one, I like it. If it's good, I like it. End of story, you know? Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but due to the fanboys of Steel, specifically, and the whole marketing of the company of Steel, they are brilliant marketing people. Absolutely. But they have convinced nearly all of America that you got to have a steel to be a, to have a professional chainsaw and it's just not true so it's convinced my dad too i feel bad my own my own old man <laughs> so he has a husqvarna 435 he's had it for several years now probably about five or six years and uh i believe he bought it brand new at lowe's probably uh, and I can remember a long time ago, he was complaining about that saw. He doesn't like it. I'm like, what don't you like about it? And he's like, always the same thing. Always. He says, I can't get that thing started. And I'm like, well, let me see. And I sh show him the routine. If you don't know how to start a chainsaw, guys, it's the same for everything. You put it on full choke. If it's got a primer bulb, you prime it until the primer bulb gets stiff, right? You put it on full choke. You pull it until it pops. Oh, 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 right? You see that it's wanting to run. Then you turn the choke off. It will remain on high idle unless it's an older saw and you had to manually push in the high idle uh, like bolt on the side. Right there's a there's a shaft bolt whatever you want to call it boop you push that in and that controls your high idle but then you pull it again until it starts and it'll start at a high idle you hit the trip trigger just blip it and it goes to a regular idle this is how you start a chainsaw I've told my father this at least eight times. <laughs> And he still complains about the starting procedure of that Husqvarna. <clears throat> that is fine. It's completely fine. He is completely allowed to not like that Husqvarna chainsaw. The other thing that he doesn't like, and this one I think is extremely valid, he says, the thing's crooked. And I know exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about the top handle. 
on Husqvarna's, the top handle, you know, is angled out. And it's supposed to be uh, ergonomic, more ergonomic for you. Uh, I myself, I don't mind it, but I, I, I would prefer to have a straight handle as well. Um, which is part of the reason why I like the John Reds better than the Husqvarna's because the John Reds all had straight handles or at least somewhat straight. But, um, but that's a little thing that I personally am fine with getting over. But, uh, yeah, dad, he is like, he's asking me, he's, he, he, he's wanting me to find him, do some trading, you know, stuff like that. Me just buy it for him. <laughs> uh, he's wanting to steal. He's like, yeah, you, you got any, uh, you know, a good steal, a good steel chainsaw. You know, it's totally in his head that his Husqvarna is inferior to a steel, completely in his head. Um, and that's fine, you know. And so I've been on the lookout for a good deal on a steel MS-250. Uh, I feel like that would be perfect for dad. The, the number one saw that I recommend for people like my dad, uh, you know, dad's getting older. He's still got strength and everything, don't get me wrong, but he is, he's an old man now. You know, he is, uh, and um, he would prefer a small, like, 45cc saw-ish, right, that's easy to pull and just runs good for him. And, uh, well, number one saw I recommend for a person like that is a Husqvarna 435. My dad doesn't like his. And so, well, what does steel have to offer? And... Um, thought about the, the, the 261 and the 271 and even the 251, but all of those are a little bit bigger and, um, and I think he would prefer the small little MS-250. Um, so yeah, if you guys have an MS-250 and would ship it out within the next day or so, uh, because I'm going to be leaving for Ohio here pretty soon and I'll be visiting my parents or if you're going to be at the um, what's it called Paul Bunyan show so I'll go to that first and then I'll go down and see my parents if you want to give me a smoking good deal on a smoking good MS 250 don't I don't want no junk here guys <laughs> it has to be really nice and start every time for my dad. You know, my dad's not going to tinker with it. He's going to expect it to just pull and run, and that's it. All right? He doesn't want to, oh, I've got to adjust the idle here. Oh, I might need to tune it up. No, he wants something solid. So if you're in the mark, or if you're in the selling business of an MS250 and you can get it to me cheap. <laughs> Because I imagine I'll probably be able to find one at Sawfest. But that'll be, that'll be after I've already visited my mom and dad. Uh, but if, if you have one and you could meet me at the uh, Paul Bunyan show coming up here in just a couple weeks. It's not even a couple weeks, honestly. It's coming up quick. Anyways, I'd be interested in that. Uh, so let me know. Hit me up. Send me an email, Bodie at woodsmanessentials.com. And for now, Steel fans, your number one saw. I mean, depending, it might be the 500i that you think is the number one steel saw. But I think the number one steel saw is the 400c. That's just a really good saw. But it just got its ass handed to it by a 50cc Red Max.